Hey guys, welcome back to the Capital Mindset Show. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys kind of an update on something I have done today, and that is I sold some calls, and I actually discussed this briefly within the Discord community uh, on, after the update that was at 12 o'clock. So actually what I'm going to be doing is showcasing what I've done here today, explaining again why it is that I did this, and I this is kind of like another video in conjunction with the AGRD call option, that, that one turned out really well. And uh, since then, by the way, if you haven't seen the update, I closed those and I closed those and I kept the delta between the premium. So what I wanna say here today is again, showcase what it is that I've done, why it is that I did so, and kind of just close off. And just to be very clear, I did not do so with the entirety of the position. I did so uh, with the, uh, well, well, we'll explain it, we'll explain it. So uh, what I wanna showcase here today is some call options that I did sell on a company that I own in the portfolio, and that is Unum. So for those of you who are, um, let's say, not up to date, Unum is a holding within the portfolio, which you can find the portfolio at any of the videos in which I call portfolio update, which there'll be a new one this week. But if you want to see it ahead of time, and if you don't have access to that link, go find any of those videos. You just click on that link. It takes you right to it. So Unum's a holding I have within the portfolio. I sold some contracts. I sold a total of 15 contracts at a strike price of 95. I'm sorry. I apologize for the image quality, but this is uh, just a quick image of it. I cropped out, of course, the dollar amounts because, well, whatever. If you, you can do the you can do it at the end of the day if you really wanted to put the effort, but don't do it. It's not about that. It's about the ideas behind this and has nothing to do with any of that sort of stuff. But I sold some, and for the purpose of this, it's important to note uh, the quantity and to express that. And so just a particular uh, context, selling call options, what you're basically doing is you're generating a premium and I would have to be forced to sell them. And you, can, you saw by that strike price, which actually I'll just bring it back, but we're gonna see that number again, $37.50. And then you see the 06, that's the month, by the way, expiring 06 on the 17th, so one month from now. And then this is important because when we get to the actual uh, understanding, which I'll just skip right to, um, is we have to think of things in the terms of annualization versus raw. And I will showcase that for you guys here today, but just so everyone understands my current uh, predicament, I'll just pass this over here, and this is a quick kind of explanation of what it is that is going on. So I'll explain uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> explain everything right now. So the expiration is in about one month from now. Strike price of thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Cost basis of eighteen dollars and thirty-seven cents. You can actually go check that out within the portfolio. It's been there for a very long time now. At this point, the premium I received was ninety-five cents, as per the, you know what you saw there. And the price today is thirty-six dollars and thirteen cents. This might change in real time as I'm talking. So, but the numbers will change in accordance to that. So, anyways. That, that's not matter. So I want to keep that price live because that is the price today as we film this video. So gain today, if I were to sell the entirety of the position today or the, at least the portion that is included within that uh, call strategy, I would gain about 96.68% in realization. So if I were to sell today. And then implicit on the sale, so gain at implied sale of today uh, or at the time, so the strike price, right? If I am forced to sell it at $37.50, I would realize a gain of actually 104% uh, instead of 96.95%. This is if I'm forced to. So basically I'm posi I position myself or I'm in a position where I'm kind of at a win-win. So I, if I keep the shares, I'm still gonna be kind of happy and I get to decide what I do with them later. Or if I don't keep the position and I do sell, I am selling at a significant uh, gain at that point. And then the gain when including the premium is 109.31%. So an additional 5.17% with this premium here today. Now here's where the thought process kind of continues. So the stock is up about four-ish percent and I'll actually show that to you here. So you can see here the stock is up nicely today at $36.15, up 4.45%. This is on the backs that Warren Buffett has been making some tremendous acquisitions in the financial space, including Markel, which is a stock I also own. He also acquired Citigroup, which is a stock I also own. Uh, so it looks like he ha my cost base is technically better than his. And for those of you who remember all the talk times I spoke about Citigroup, it's not my favorite bank, but I, the only reason why I held on to it rather than the other banks, and by the way, that's actually changed now, um, is because 
I had uh, kind of almost like a speculation that they are able to right the ship. Now, Citigroup has a lot of problems, and the new CEO has a lot of problems to fix, but holding it or remaining it in the, in the portfolio was a speculation that perhaps they would do a decent job at correcting the ship and looks, it appears as though Warren Buffett believes that that is a possibility, which makes it almost like um, uh, I'm kind of happy that this speculation on my part might actually turn out correct. Okay. So, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see how that plans out, but I'll of course keep track of it because it's within the portfolio of no plans on selling Citigroup. All right. So going back, right, we have the gain here today. So I was able to get a better premium than yesterday, of course. <laughs> and so um, this premium has a yield on premium on the strike price of 2.53% 2, 2 on the, my cost basis of 5.17%. So it's as if I gave myself a 5.17% dividend uh, uh, from that stock. That's how you can kind of think of it as well. It's one way to think of it. And then on the price today, I gave myself a 2.63% yield on that. However, this is the wrong way to think about things because that's on a given time period. So in, in theory, I could rinse and repeat this should I keep the shares on 6 17, 2022. So in reality, we actually have to annualize these returns because this is not an annualized return. We, we annualize them in the latter, and then we see what they look like over the same period, okay? I would ignore the cost basis yield. I just put that just for the sake of it. That's not actually how you should really think about it, but I just put it in there. So I would highlight the strike price yield and the price today yield. So the annualized return is 30.40%, and the annualized return for the price today is 31.53%. So that's a very good annualized rate of return, and thus the premium today is, I would consider, uh, significant. It's not the best one. I've had actually trades in the past where it was a better yield return. And actually, check out the AGRD one to remind yourself how that one was. To be honest, I don't even remember how, how good that one was, but... I, it's recorded on the internet, so if I really wanted to, I could go back and rewatch. And I do do that. I actually rewatch some of my old videos to see what it is I thought about something in the past. And I think this is almost like a good recollection. It's a good um, uh, library of sorts of content and thoughts that I, I might hold in a given time period. So anyways, so that's basically an update on what this is. We'll see how this kind of pans out. So in about a month from now, I'm either going to be exercised on this position or I'm going to keep the position um, or the, these shares, and then I'll be able to either rinse and repeat this should the opportunity arise. And as you, I've, I've kind of hinted at before, my option strategy, and this is only coming because people ask me uh, either in the Discord, on YouTube comments, uh, where do options play a role in your portfolio and can you do videos on them? Well, here I am, I'm doing a video on it. Hopefully this provides value. This is about the thought process of it. This is how call options actually provide another um, extra amount of income that I can kind of eke out of a stock. And I only do so when the opportunity is ripe or when I am comfortable with the outcome. So here's the final thought. I am comfortable with selling at $37.50. If I wasn't comfortable with doing that, I would not be executing this here today. I would not be doing it. Okay, when you are selling contracts, you are putting yourself in that position because you are executing the sale of said contracts. Okay, so it's very important to take note of that. And similarly to the AGRD one, I was comfortable, and it turns out in hindsight, right, because I closed the position before the expiration and I kind of missed out on that last bit of gain, but I expressed why I did so. So I didn't make as much gain as I could on the income. I actually, I think of the totality, I made a decent amount, but not. I, I missed out on a little bit because I think they're going to expire worthless whoever bought those contracts. And then the premium would have kept the entirety of the premium. So this one, I have no plans, but I, I you know, might change my mind. Should something come up that I think that, you know, for certain, it's going to obviously stay above that, something significant happens. Of course, it's not the entirety of my position, and I'll actually note that here today. It is not the entirety of my Unum position. So even if it uh, gets called, and then I, I'm basically doing an early sell. If you can kind of think of it that way, uh, that is exactly how I'm thinking of it. <laughs> so, um, and that's actually where I'll, I'll leave off the video, this final point, right? I am utilizing this tool to, again, eke out uh, at otherwise I would have already sold, by the way. I would already be trimming 
the position down here, as you can see, because I'm very content with the gains I've made thus far. I've already made a video on Unum. The video didn't get much views because it's not really stock that many people even know about, by the way. So, <laughs> um, but it was a sleeping uh, sleeper stock, you could say, within the stock market. And a lot of people were pessimistic because of COVID-19 and that COVID-19 was gonna kill everyone. And Unum was kind of like a monetary or a financial bet that you could make that it wasn't the case necessarily. And so it's performed remarkably, in my opinion, based on the expectations. And so, you know, I'm very content with taking profits off the table. So then I'm executing this call option here today. So I'm content if I get to sell it at $37.50 in a month from now. And then the remainder of the position, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It pays a fat dividend for my cost basis. My yield on cost is incredible on that. Um, but, you know, I, I, for now, I have no plans on selling the remainder of the position. All right. On that note, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.